Dear students, in this video, we are going to start our new chapter that is electromagnetic waves. To begin with, let me ask you a very important question whose answer we will explore in this video. And that question is, we know that a changing magnetic flux produces electric field. As an example, see this is a magnet, this is a coil connected to a galvanometer. When you bring the magnet closer, you are changing the magnetic flux and ultimately what will happen? The current will start flowing and EMF will be induced, a current will be induced. So what do we get from it? That when we change the magnetic flux, we are creating electric field because EMF is getting induced. But is the reverse situation true? Can the changing electric flux produce magnetic field? Because here changing magnetic flux is producing electric field. Phi B is changing and that's creating electric field. But the question is, if phi E, electric flux changes, can it create magnetic field B? So let us explore this in the following experiment. Suppose you have a parallel plate capacitor whose plates are P and Q, metallic plates. This parallel plate capacitor is connected to a battery B and a tapping key K as shown in this circuit. When the key K is pressed and the circuit is closed, okay, the circuit is closed, the current starts flowing through the wire and due to this flowing current, the charge starts depositing on the plates of the capacitor, right? Suppose positive charge deposits on the plate P and suppose negative charge deposits on the plate Q. So this charge is slowly increasing. Okay, the charge is slowly getting accumulated. As the charge on capacitor is increasing and increasing, this current in the wires, this conduction current will go on decreasing. And when the plates of capacitor are fully charged, they are fully charged now, then the current in the wire stops. It actually stops flowing and the current conduction current decreases. Now we know from Oristed experiment that when the current actually flows from somewhere and you keep a magnetic needle, then magnetic needle st starts showing deflection. When the current flows from any region, the magnetic field is created there. So since the current is flowing, so this will mean that the wires, the, surround, the surrounding area, the surrounding regions of wire will have magnetic field. Okay. So let's find out that magnetic field first. So first of all, I need to tell you Ampere's circuital law. Ampere circuital law says that if you have any closed path which is enclosing the magnetic field and the current I is flowing through that closed path, then what exactly happens? The magnetic, this line integral of magnetic field will be equal to mu naught I. Actually, current I is not flowing through this loop. The current I is enclosed by this surface. I repeat, if there is any closed path in the region of magnetic field and that closed path is enclosing the current I in it, then the closed line integral of magnetic field will be equal to mu naught times the current which is enclosed by this surface. Okay? So suppose you are willing to find out the magnetic field at some point R, which is at a perpendicular distance R from the wire. Okay, so this is small R distance and the point's name is capital R. 
so i repeat current was flowing through the wires so current means magnetic field and i'm finding that magnetic field so how to go about it first of all we know that b d l equals to mu not i now what will be the angle between b vector and dl vector 0 degree why it will be 0 degree because when you apply the right hand rule so the current is flowing in this direction and the fingers are curling in this direction so this is only the direction of magnetic field lines which are encircling okay and if the direction of magnetic field lines and dl vector so the direction of b vector and dl vector is same so they are sharing an angle of 0 degree with each other so when you will open it this will become b dl cos 0 degree closed line integral mu not i b outside closed line integral of dl mu not i so closed line integral of dl will give you whole loop the circumference of the whole loop 2 pi r mu not i b is equal to mu not i upon 2 pi r so this is the value of magnetic field at a point r okay when it is calculated through ampere circuital law now you need to consider another loop which is containing exactly the point r but it is having a different shape it's having a shape like this it's having a shape like this just like of an earthen pot or a tiffin box so that point r is here okay and this is plate p this is plate q positive charge here negative charge here see this another loop is although containing point r but it's not touching the conduction wire also and this plate also it's not touching anything okay so now we need to calculate the magnetic field at a point r so if i'll ask you what is the current which is passing through this surface the current enclosed by this surface is zero okay because we know that inside the plates of the capacitor no current actually flows no current actually flows so this means capital i equals to 0 for this loop so when you are going to calculate magnetic field at point r through this loop you are going to get closed line integral b vector dot dl vector is equal to mu not i since there is no current enclosed so right hand side will be 0 so in this way b vector dot dl vector will be 0 for point r okay so b will be 0 but now the problem is the point r is exactly at the same location okay and one time you were using this loop and the other time you were using this loop but when you calculated the value of b vector through this loop you were getting mu not i upon 2 pi r but now when you are calculating magnetic field at the same point r using the another loop you are getting magnetic field equal to 0 aisa to nahi hona chahiye ki ek hi point jis par magnetic field hai bhi hai aur nahi bhi hai how is it possible because ampere circuital law clearly tells us the line integral closed line integral of magnetic field through any closed path i repeat through any closed path is equal to mu not times the total current threading the path so any path you have actually discussed here but one way you are getting it so you are getting some value of b vector and the other way you are getting it zero to ye inconsistency ho gayi yahan pe actually it's a problematic situation so in that way what we actually say that this ampere circuital law is logically inconsistent there is some problem with it and i'll tell you 
why that problem arises but before that i need to tell you some important fact also and that important fact is if these two plates are not separated by any dielectric medium except air and if you choose to keep a compass needle here a magnetic compass needle then that magnetic compass needle shows deflection can you believe it there is no current inside the plates of the capacitor you know there is current only in the conduction wires so when there is no current why the magnetic compass needle is showing deflection when it is kept in between the plates this means we were wrong we actually knew that there is no current uh, there is no flow of charges so there is no current but there is a different type of current which is causing this magnetic compass needle to deflect okay so let's study what actually is the situation which is causing these two things okay that one way we are getting it uh, we are getting some value of magnetic field at point r and the other way we are getting it zero first of all we'll answer that and then we'll answer why this compass needle shows deflection even when there is no charge flow in between the plates so to discuss that i need to tell you that electric flux is changing see when the plates of the capacitor are connected to a battery when the plates of the capacitor are connected to a battery the current starts flowing the current starts flowing the charge starts depositing okay so what exactly will happen the charge accumulation is not completely done almost instantaneously it is happening the charge is getting stored it takes some time so meanwhile electric flux is changing because charge is changing so we know that e is equal to sigma upon epsilon not in between the two plates of the capacitor what is sigma sigma is surface charge density surface charge density means charge upon area so it's q upon a epsilon not so what is the value of electric flux this will be e vector dot a vector electric field is directed like this in between the plates of the capacitor from positive to negative okay and area vector is also like this outward drawn normal so when you will open this dot product this becomes e a cos 0 degree so phi e equals to the value of e is q by a epsilon not into a cos 0 degree is 1 okay so phi e q upon epsilon not so you know that since charge is changing so electric flux is changing so let me calculate the rate of change of electric flux d phi e by dt this will be d by dt of q upon epsilon not this will be d phi e by dt 1 upon epsilon not dq by dt but dq by dt means charge upon time and this is some sort of current so let me put it a different current id so id equals to take this epsilon not to the other side epsilon not d phi e by dt so what do we get from it that there is a sort of current which is arising because of rate of change of electric flux see d phi e by dt rate of change of electric flux so that is the current which exists between the two plates of the capacitor and that current only is actually making the compass needle to move hame lag raha tha ki abhi tak hame lagta tha plates of capacitor ke beech mein koi current nahi hota lekin current hota hai aur us current ko hum log displacement current bolte hain aur wo current aata kyun hai kyunki jab jab चार्ज स्टोर हो रहा है ना प्लेट्स पर तो उस चार्ज के स्टोर होने की वजह से इलेक्ट्रिक फ्लक्स बार बार चेंज कर रहा है तो वो करंट है डिस्प्लेसमेंट करंट ओके एंड 
इसी डिस्प्लेसमेंट करंट की वजह से आपको मैग्नेटिक फील्ड की वैल्यू बार बार अलग मिल रही थी आपने सोचा कि एम्पियर सर्किटल लॉ में जब आपने ये लूप डिस्कस किया कि इस लूप में तो कोई करंट इनक्लोज हो ही नहीं रहा देर इज नो करंट विच इज गेटिंग इनक्लोज इन दिस लूप सो यू पुट द करंट इक्वल टू जीरो बट एक्चुअली में इस लूप में से भी करंट पास कर रहा है एंड दैट करंट इज आई डी सो रिमेंबर when the capacitor is connected to the plates when the plates of the capacitor is connected to a battery you know they are connected to the battery then there are two types of current first current is the one which actually flows through the actual you know transfer of charges actual flow of charges and that current is actually flowing through the wires and that current is known as conduction current it is happening because of conduction of a conductor and let me bring to uh, this to your notice that there is a current which actually flows in between the plates of the capacitor and that current is displacement current that current flows only here in this region फॉर अ मोमेंट्रली यू नो स्मॉल पीरियड ऑफ टाइम और वो सिर्फ तब तक फ्लो होता है जब तक इलेक्ट्रिक फ्लक्स चेंज हो रहा है एक बार जो ऐसा हो गया कि कपेसिटर पूरी तरह से चार्ज हो गया ठीक है कपेसिटर पूरी तरह से चार्ज हो गया तो कोई इलेक्ट्रिक फ्लक्स नहीं चेंज कर रहा अब तो वो करंट फ्लो नहीं करेगा अगर आप ये सिचुएशन कंपेयर करो यहां पर गैल्वेनोमीटर डिफ्लेक्शन तभी दिखाता था जब तक आप मैग्नेट मूव कर रहे होते थे As long as you were changing the magnetic flux, you were observing induced current, induced EMF. But as soon as you stopped changing the magnetic flux, you did not observe any deflection in the needle of the galvanometer. The same way, when the electric flux is changing, it will generate magnetic field inside the plates of the capacitor. Okay, and okay, but when it starts changing. when it stops changing what exactly happens there is no magnetic field inside the plates of the capacitor because there is no current right so this way we understand displacement current and this is id equals to epsilon not d phi e by dt earlier we were talking about phi b in faraday's laws we talked about phi b which is magnetic flux here we are talking about electric flux in the next video we will understand how the uh, introduction of displacement current makes ampere circuital law very very continuous